Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Call of Cthulhu blind playthrough and this is part 9, I think. But let's get into the game and enter madness. And we are in uh, the giant mansion where the widow of poor, what was he called, Fuller? Something like that, where she resides and we are examining the Shambler. Which might be interesting. Seems like an odd fellow. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 2. This second volume in this series covers everything from gas gangrene to trench nephritis. In addition to a precise and detailed study, the book presents some avant-garde theories. The incredible complexity of this book's of this book reserves it for medical experts. Well, that's me. I'm a real expert at medicine. <laughs> Let's see how good I am at medicine. 24%. Ooh, we have available character points as well. So where should we put them? We are great, quite good at investigating. So let's try some on the spot. Hidden. Let's put two in that. Nowadays that I know what it does. <laughs> And uh, we'll put one in psychology. We have three points left. Let's put one in strength. Sorry about that. You weren't. Maybe I should turn off the pop up. Pop up things. Pop up notifications was the word I was looking for. And what the hell? Cannot do anything with those. Let's put it in. Let's put in investigation. And how's my sanity looking? Do you want to quit? W no, I do not. Yes, thank you. Mental trauma. Macabre discovery. Okay, so I'm a bit shaken. The ordeals you have gone through have left their mark, but you still manage as best you can. You keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts and painful memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your mind could lead you along the paths of insanity. <laughs> that sounds a bit ominous. But either way, let's check out this mansion. You don't want to watch me just fucking about in the menus, do you? No. I, I'm guessing that's a no. So let's see what we have in here. It's been a few days since I played this game last, so could be interesting to see if how the controls work and I'm gonna use my lighter see if even though this mansion is quite lit can we open this door no well that sucks ass Let's see what this cylinder an audio recording that Francis Sir. Sanders left for his wife Irene Okay. Can play once inserted into phonograph. Okay, let's try it. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Yep. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. Burn what? Inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes was that it okay I can't take any more no I can't hold him back forgive me that accursed family those accursed paintings that accursed Sarah whoa there lady can I talk to you again no some other cool paintings. This one reminds me of uh, At the Mountains of Madness, which is an old love crop. Did you see the blood on that painting? Awesome. <laughs> Greatness is in the details. Can I light this? No. Maybe. No. Still can't open those doors. Either way. 
let's head onwards. Onwards and upwards to eternity and beyond. Or whatever it was that Buzz Lightyear said. I think it was something along those ways in Toy Story. Great, great animated movie. A strange Amerindian pendant. Amulet. An ancient amulet. Probably Amerindian? I wonder what its purpose could be. Okay, something about occultism. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 3. This volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Yet yeah, it may be from a God. <laughs> but I doubt Frank. it's from the god called For Yahweh months, or Sarah Jehovah. Refused to part with her Letter by Sarah Hawkins. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. Alright. What's this? Sleeping I pills? Use one of those. I found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house. Were they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene? Hmm. The Whale and the Cod or A Brief History of Dark Water by Erwan Greenmouth. Greenmouth. It is focused on the past glory of the island. Okay. A lot of reading in this in this episode. <laughs> so what do we have here? Oh, yay! I am strong enough to open a small box. Key to the Sanders Gallery. Could that be what's behind that door, or maybe the other doors we couldn't open? And here we have a secret book. Dissertation on an anatomical question. It is the work of a student in book form. Although the observations are relevant, they lack the expertise of an experienced physician. Try saying that sentence three times fast. However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. That's cool. All right, here we have Cat. Can we talk to you? That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. Well, excuse I've me, got dear a lot lady. Of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. Then get steel what have cap you come boots. For in this gallery? Uh, I've got to verify the paintings for a buyer. Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. It's none of your business. Uh, let's go another with another painting, painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I have discovered on this island. What a surprise! I'm listening. Uh, what the you do? Yeah. And you, what brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to... I've said it before, enemy. but there's something really messed up going on with the character's hands in this game. <laughs> Would you read the book? Sure. Malaeus Bestiarum, Volume 2. It is a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. What the hell? Could it be that I just lost some sanity? Maybe? How do I write? Mental trauma. Okay, still shaken, but hanging in there. <laughs> 
Get a trophy for it at least. <laughs> but before we head in there, because I assume that's where we go to progress this story. I want to find out what's in here. And hopefully we can... Fuck. <laughs> I was hoping that I would be able to unlock this door. <sighs> well, that sucked ass. So let's head onwards then. Bet it no. Okay, worth a shot. Either way, let's head in here then. See what's in here. Okay. This cozy. Very nice. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Okay. So are they old These Indian artifacts? artifacts, Indian date artifacts? From pre Columbian times. Can I interact with them? Do I have to use my lantern? I've used it very little. These artifacts date from yeah, pre Columbian times. I heard times. you the first time, Eddie. Am I supposed to find a special artifact in here, maybe? Ooh, these books are glowing. Yeah, they still glow. Even if I take it down. Okay. I'm gonna use my lighter because I don't want to waste my lamp oil. It must be said once again that this place has some of the coolest paintings I've ever seen, and I don't have the space in my home for a giant ass statue, but I would definitely put up that one. And here we have a guy playing volleyball. Maybe. But let's, let's not linger for too long in uh, one single room. Let's... That's the painting that we the saw man before. Transforms the entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. So, I'm guessing that's where they want us to go. So let's spend some time exploring this place. And some of these paintings make Geiger's paintings seem normal. That one almost looked a bit Geiger inspired. Well, it needs some biomechanics. Ooh, lamp oil. Nice. Can I interact with you? Seems to display almost the same thing in all these... All these little trays. Oops. Not the button I was going for. Can't do shit with that. So, this one? Why was he so interested in old weapons? Because odd collectors almost always are. That seemed to be some kind of fetish for most people with too much money. Either they go for really... <laughs> okay. Ugly ass cat. Either, either they go for really old weapons or really overpowered weapons. Like, I'm gonna put the howitzer in my backyard because reasons. I need it for my personal safety. And uh, you may need it for your personal safety if you have an entire army coming into your home. <laughs> but okay, I think that's all we can do in here. It doesn't seem like the spot hidden icon is gonna start glowing, so hopefully I haven't missed too much. Probably I missed something, so let's check out this painting. And before we check it out, let's go here at the back. Nothing interesting. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. Things are taking a turn for the worse. <laughs> I guess. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of Stranger Things when the Demogorgon tries to break out of the wall. Oh my god, that's ugly. And a bit, once again, a bit Geiger inspired. Looks a bit like an alien or a xenomorph. And I think he is blind. Yes, you are a blind little fellow. So, is this one of those moments where... Yeah. What the hell was that? Something ugly? Okay, I can't look at him. Because that will cost me my sanity. Shit, he's heading my way. He's heading my way. He's getting closer. Fuck this place. I wanna leave. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I kinda deserved that one. <sighs> So, <laughs> can I skip? Yes. What the hell was that? So, where the hell am I supposed to go? Doesn't seem like I can look at him. So, let's see if we can hide in this closet. And hopefully that will get him to piss off in another direction. Is he close? I'm kind of thinking he is. But he seems to have lost track of me. Can't see him. So can I? I can't even touch it. Oh fuck you! Okay. So that's not the way I'm supposed to go. Skip. So... What the hell was that? What the hell am I supposed to do then? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to pick up one of those ancient knives and, I don't know, stab his ass with it. Could that be it? I'm thinking maybe. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Maybe I can fuck off into the closet. Maybe not get eaten. Can I... Do something? Apparently no. Well, that was fucking annoying. What the hell was that? So... Let's do it like this. He is heading my direction. So the dagger seems to be the key. So I'm gonna haul ass into this closet. Once again. He comes in. Hopefully he doesn't see me this time. No. Where the hell did he go? Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Oh 
<sighs> well, this was fucking annoying. So let's try. We'll try to grab the dagger, skip, and just go for the confrontation. What the hell was that? I feel already that that will be a sentence that's gonna drive me insane. Maybe we can yeah, grab maybe it real quick. I can use this dagger. Could that have been the way to... No. Yeah, well, you'll... Trial and error. That's the way to get through this. What the hell was that? So, if we grab yeah, this maybe. thing, I can use this dagger. He's close. Where the hell did he go? Maybe he lost track of me this time? Seems like it. Oh shit. But he doesn't know where I am this time. And now it seems he fucked off. So we're gonna try to stab his ass. Nope, didn't work. <sighs> what the hell was that? Yeah, maybe I can use this dagger. Yes, maybe I can. Hide in here. Hopefully, it doesn't find us. Oh, he's close. Too close for comfort. Can I scare him with this, perhaps? This really is starting to piss me off. Consult diary. The Shambler is a painting. Right. That maybe I can use this dagger. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to stab the painting? Because I can't look at him without starting to lose my sanity. So let's try the painting. We can do something with it. Was that, it. Was that it? it? Oh, shit. Are you telling me I need a special dagger? There are like millions of them to choose from. Ah. 
And he caught me. Okay. We're making progress. So we need the right dagger. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Yes, what the hell indeed. So. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Yes, maybe we can. Now where the fuck did Ugo go? Shit, he saw me. So let's hide. Might work. No, of course it didn't. <laughs> uh, this will be a fun episode. Skip. Maybe I should trim what out some of these failed attempts. No, I won't because I want to make this honest. Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. So He doesn't seem to know where I am, so I'm gonna go in here just for safety's sake. Maybe he comes in. Uh-huh. And hopefully he fucks off again. So we can make our way towards the painting because worst case scenario I'm just gonna have to go through all these knives but I don't want to do that because that would make this a lot longer than it would have to be let's see he's over there so where the hell did he go Shit, he's probably close. Probably close. Stab the painting. Stab the painting. Damn it. This dagger didn't work. Shit, 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 shit. And he is the slowest runner ever. Let's try this one then. Wonder if I can just run around. And Try different daggers. Damn it! Crap. I have to use a specific dagger. He's over on the right. It has to be a specific dagger. This is probably fucking my mental health to hell. There he is. Shit 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 shit. <laughs> this is so fucking stressful. I don't know how close he is. <laughs> ah, fucking annoying. <sighs> but we're thinning the herd. What the hell was that? We don't have many daggers left to choose from. Haven't tried. This one. Yeah, yet. maybe I can use this dagger. Now where is he? Left or oh shit, there he was. There he was. This looks kafuli. Not kafulian enough. And I'm dead. I am really dead. <laughs> Skip. I feel like I want to end this fight before I end this episode, but I am running out of time. So, damn, maybe I can use this dagger. Yes. Where are you, Ago? There you are. Well, this is it. I'm feeling lucky about this one. And once again, we die. And I'm gonna end this episode right here because I need to take a break. <laughs> but we'll get him in the next one, next episode, hopefully. But until next time, I wanna thank you very much for watching and. 
This is the Wolfman signing off.